All right, so uh, I finished painting the walls. I got in done behind there, behind the wash and dryer, and uh, actually painted the ceiling in here. I, I did it with the spray gun. Um, with the, uh, it's, a, it's a Wagner. It's one of those airless power sprays. I think it worked great. Just loaded up with some kills and uh, sprayed the ceiling. So we're all painted now and uh, we're good with that. I have everything pushed over to the other side for now. I also started the electrical in this wall as you can see. Um, I got my boxes mounted and I got my electrical pulled from my panel over there uh, over to here. So um, that will definitely be another video when I touch on the, all the electrical stuff in this wall here and then we're gonna have um, the uh, metal boxes at certain points on the wall here. I just haven't planned it out yet. So I uh, just wanted to show you, I'm gonna start on the floor this weekend here. And this is the tile that I chose. It's just um, regular VCT. Uh, this, this is Armstrong, I'm pretty sure. And the floor is semi-level. I got a few lumps, dips, and everything in here. Um, I'm pretty sure I can heat this up and conform it. Uh, shouldn't be an issue. There are a few really big divots here and there, like along the wall where they chopped up to put in that drain, like right around there. I might have to either stone down or just um, kind of even it out a little bit with some fill. So, uh, But it, that's mainly only along the very, very edge and along the middle here where it looks like they put some sort of uh, sealer down the seal of crack that had formed. So, um, this is the pattern I'm gonna go with. This is, this pattern's just too big for the room. So this is it here. But before we get to that, I just wanna do a quick little tool, view, tool review of just some electrical stuff, tools I'm gonna be using when I do the wall there. I just wanted to do this quick tool review here. Um, and these are some electrical tools that you're going to need to do the electrical work, which we'll get into later. But um, I needed a new pair of dikes because I cut a live wire with mine because mm, people don't like the label breakers right. And it's kind of my stupidity because I should have checked before I cut. So I've always used Klein electrical tools, always, always, always. Um, so I just picked up a pair. I went to go pick up a pair of Klein um, dikes. But in the electrical section of, I believe it was Home Depot, where I went, um, Milwaukee has a set of electrical tools and actually a whole set of tools now, not, not just electrical. They had uh, the channel lock pliers and all kinds of different things. So I figured we'll give them a shot. So I picked up these. You can see mm, Milwaukee. They're heavy. They're. Um, this is not. This isn't uh, technically insulated. It's just rubberized. Um, it, it doesn't offer any uh, electrical protection on you. But um, what caught me by surprise is just. Uh, I don't know if it was just advertising or what, but um, they bill it as a six-in-one tool. And we can see here. See if we can zoom up a little bit. You can use it for reaming a piece of EMT, use it for cutting your bolts, cutting your wires, pulling a nail, I'll show that, cutting nails, and pulling staples, which you can kind of use a regular set of, um, set of Klein uh, dikes to do the same thing, but this is purposely made. Now, if you see at it, it is one of the angled ones, the angle cutted pliers, so you can get down close to something without knuckle busting yourself. Now the tip you see is, isn't really pointy it's they nick the tip of it off so that you could kinda go down and grab a nail head and pull it out and then you got the wedge to kinda get underneath the staple and pull it out and then you good old screw cutters here and there. Now my problem with this I hate them. I actually had to go back out and get a pair a regular Clients that I've been using forever. Two reasons, or actually more than two reasons. Okay, first of all, 
I don't particularly like the bent head pliers. See how bent those are? I don't, Klein does make a version that is like that too, and I don't particularly like them. I like the regular straight ones. It's just personal preference. It, it, it just because when you go, go to cut a wire, you want to cut it straight, you have to hold it at an angle. I mean, these, you still do have to hold it at an angle, but I don't know, it's just I've been using these for so long. Um, I like the straight ones much better. Now, the biggest gripe with these, my two biggest gripes, is you see the cutting surface on this thing. It's much, much, much bigger than the Klein one here. For me, I feel like I have more leverage with this one to cut the wire than I do with this. It, it seems like I, it, it's, it takes a lot less pressure to cut with these than these. Also, my two biggest gripes with these. This right here. See how close those are? Look at the difference. Now, why is that an issue? Well, it's the way you hold the plier. Hold it with your hands and you put you either, you, I, the way I do it, is either your two fingers or your pinky to open and close. So when you go to cut a wire, clamp down, your pinky stays there. I got plenty of room here. This one, not so much. I put my pinky down here. My pinky actually stops me from being able to close these all the way. If I use the two fingers <clears throat> like this, it's even worse. And the biggest problem, because they angled and nipped this tip, you cannot cut on the very tip of these pliers. I've tried. These ones, the cutting edge goes all the way, all the way to the tip. Let me see if I can get a good close up to it. Compared to these, there's a good one right there. You can see that. Now, why is that a problem? Well, for me, in any AC unit, all the wires are usually in, bundled in, as a ca giant cable. They're all bundled with wire ties. This, I can just go in and pinch that wire tie with the tip of these pliers without making sure I hit anything else and just cut the wire tie. This, I can't. I have to go way deep in there to be able to cut the wire tie. And I have more of a chance of nicking a wire. And you can actually see that the front here doesn't close completely. The two things I do like about this are the uh, little reamer on the front here and the bolt cutter. Granted, I would like a longer handle with a bolt cutter um, to nip the screws, but you pretty much your two common sizes for your electrical boxes are in here. And um, it does work as a reamer. And it does get rid of that burr in there. Now, on the other hand, I also picked up a pair of their Lyman's pliers. Now these also are billed as six in one. Can you see a pattern forming here? These are pretty much the same thing here. Reaming, bolt cutter, fish tape. I, I think the back might have a better picture of that. I'll, I think that's retarded, but uh, nail pulling, nail cutting, and regular pliers. So let me see if I can they have a picture of the fish tape thing. Uh, nail pulling fish tape there. Uh, I don't know if you can tell what they're doing, but basically you see they have a set of inside jaws here, and he's just grabbing the, the, the fish tape with the inside here and pulling it. Why you can't do it with that, I don't know. But anyway, these I really do like. <clears throat> you can see I have a set of, these are generics. Actually, I don't even have a name for them, but judging by the black and red handle, I'm assuming they're husky. Um, the biggest issue with these, these I've had forever. They just came with, I don't know, I collected them along the way. My clients are in the truck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you can see that it, the cutting edges don't even go together on this, and I have another pair of generic ones here. Which, uh, these are Workforce, I don't know what that is. Um, 
And these ones, you can, uh, aren't as bad as those ones. I mean, they do work, but here's the physical size difference you can see here. I mean, it gives you about a good extra inch, and these are way more hefty. Um, this is something that these two little bolt cutter uh, holes come in really handy on this, uh, is you have the leverage to be able to cut them on this. Plus, you have plenty of clearance, at least I do, in the handle. These ones I really, really, really like. This also does have the reamer on the outside, but uh, just because the physical size of this, it's not as conducive to half inch EMT, more along the lines of uh, three quarter and up. Um, but it does work. And if you can see, you still have the little bit of gap in the teeth, which almost every lineman plier does, but you have absolutely no light showing through that cutting surface there. Hey, these things, these are really good, and they're um, pretty much just as expensive as the Kleins are. They, they, I think they might be like one or two dollars less. I think the Kleins were um, 26 or 27. These were either 24 or 25. Um, so if you see these on the shelf, I do recommend getting these. I, I actually, I, I like these a hell of a lot better than my Kleins. Um, these just feel better in my hands. I never particularly liked the Klein linemans. Um, like that was just a personal preference. They're coated, they're, well not coated, but they're um, rubberized like these where it's just a small coat. I've always liked the line, Lyman's that were had the heftier handles on it because um, I use these a lot of work to cut bolts, to cut screws, to cut copper tubing. Um, when, I'm, when we're doing change outs and stuff, you just snip the tubing with this and break it out. So you need the, the leverage and it just, these just feel more comfortable in my hand than um, the Lyman's that have this type of handle on that. So that's just a quick little tool review here. And uh, if you guys see them and you need a marker for a pair of Lyman's, give these a shot. Stay away from these. And there's nothing wrong with the good old Kleins.